the channel, Thomas here, Scuba Travel and Adventure. I got contacted uh, by one of the company. They are a manufacturer of apparel for cycling, uh, which is the bikes, and uh, they have some stuff for motorcycles. So that company has contacted me and the name of the company is uh, InBike. I will include all the links uh, below the video. And they have told me to choose uh, one of the products on their website and if I could review it. So I figure why not, uh, since uh, this is the first company that has contacted me ever, I figure I will give that a shot and uh, I'll pick the product and uh, they will uh, send it to me and I will review it for them. Um, it's uh, actually really nice of them. So th basically I chose uh, motorcycle riding gloves. It took about uh, less than two weeks uh, to get the products from them. The company is from China, but I believe they have uh, some kind of a warehouse. Uh, they want to expand their the company and they, they do have some kind of a warehouse down in US, I believe, um, but I'm not 100% sure. Package has arrived uh, just a couple of days ago and uh, I'm taking my time here to review those gloves. First of all, let's have a look uh, how are they packaged. I will include the affiliated links uh, below the video and it will have a 10% discount of the product. I will try them. Uh, I just got here using my old gloves and uh, I will ride back home using those new gloves. Um, they're a bit warmer, but um, we'll see. So they say basically they came packaged in simple envelope. Just gonna put the papers away so they don't fly because uh, there's a little bit of wind today. And I'm here at a beautiful um, Frank Lake, uh, pretty much middle of nowhere, a little bit east uh, of High River. All right, the bag is, uh, it, could, it could be used uh, as a storage in the future because it's pretty solid bag. So if you need it to store your gloves, since those are warmer gloves and most of the riders will use uh, more than one set of gloves, uh, I have already two sets of gloves. Let me start um, about the sizing chart. Uh, basically, I chose uh, this particular pair of gloves. So the sizing chart on their website, I gotta say it's, um, it is uh, pretty accurate. And how they tell you to do it, they tell you to measure your hand across and uh, basically choose your size that's gonna correspond. And they have uh, two different uh, measurements. They have it in, uh, in uh, Imperial and they also have it in metric. So for all types of riders, whether it's from US or UK or Canada or any country in Europe, uh, you can pick whether it's a metric or Imperial. So now I will get the camera closer so we can have a closer look at it. So as I stated earlier in a video, uh, those gloves are more for like uh, colder weather riding. Right now we, we still have an early spring, so it's still acceptable. They can be used, uh, I have a feeling right now, even though they're a little bit too thick uh, for me for the, this kind of riding. On a product name, there's not much except for um, motorcycle riding gloves and uh, it says that they are waterproof. The model number for those gloves is CW863 and I chose the pair that is extra large. So the website the address is www.inbike.cc. So first uh, looking at the quality and stitching, it looks actually very impressive. I don't see any threads sticking out anywhere all around and they have a really nice feel they're soft so they are claiming that they are waterproof proof as well they're using a tenesoline and they are made out of a goat skin i believe them so goat skin uh, could be because the, the the way they feel i have a goat skin actually my other glove this one here that i'm riding uh, they also made out of a goat skin, so they're really comfortable, but uh, those things are not waterproof, uh, definitely. For, we're gonna look some deeper, so you have a strap going across here. Very nice uh, stitching here to keep it tight around your wrist and a uh, little elastic built-in on top. Uh, that's also very nice, a little bit uh, of uh, flex here and a harder spot. And 
looks like uh, they do have a carbon fiber knuckle protection and also the finger knuckles as well. One thing that I don't see on this glove that uh, would be nice to see is the touchscreen uh, pads, which I don't see them. But uh, another thing that's uh, for some of you um, that will be wearing it while riding in a dirt off-road, there is uh, your visor or goggle wiper. So I'll, gi I'll give them now a try. According to the chart, I chose it. They actually fit perfectly. I got, yeah, I just got on the pinky finger a little bit of room, but any other fingers are nice uh, without any extra room. And they do feel nice. Let me tie them up. Well, I guess this one here would stay on. I wouldn't take that off. Okay, so yeah, that just to tighten up there around the wrist so you got no wind going. And if you, you can put it over the jacket, there's enough room. Or you can put it under the jacket. So it depends on your uh, likes, how you like it. They do feel really comfortable. So it's, this area is thickened. So it's uh, built for comfort when you're holding on your grips, on your hand grips. So that's uh, additional of uh, additional room of, for padding. The inner lining, the, the hydrophobic surface and inner uh, waterproof membranes. Uh, so you can still use them uh, during the rain or wet snow or anything like that. Uh, I will give them a test since I'm close to the water. I will, believe it or not, uh, submerge that glove in the water if get, they get soaked, if they're really waterproof, because uh, I wouldn't want to advertise a product that uh, is not whatever it says. Normally I pick my own products to review. This one here, the company has contacted me. So. They are actually, I like them. They are really comfortable. So as I said, I will give them the test, um, waterproof test. I have no rain, but uh, water should do just fine. Yeah, seems like the water is being repelled. Yeah, my hand is dry. So that's being fully submerged in the water. I got to say that's uh, pretty good quality. Uh, very good quality, I will say, uh, because uh, with the glove being submerged, of course, I'm not going to be holding it forever because I think since it's a leather, eventually it's going to get to you. Uh, to withstand the rain or light snow, I don't see any problems here. That's actually very good. The gloves uh, withstand the submersion in a the lake. They passed the, my test. Yeah, they're still dry, Not no water went in. That's the glove I, I used uh, putting into the lake because this one here still has tags, as you saw in the video, that's the one I was wearing. What else I can tell you about those gloves before I take them for a spin? And 3M and uh, Tenisulet, it's pretty good product. Uh, I have them um, in many other uh, types of um, wardrobe. Uh, so they breathable and waterproof. Uh, so they even have the sticker that uh, stands behind that product. Hopefully you're gonna be able to see this. Uh, that's how the how is the construction of that glove? There's a few layers that came into play to make that glove. And yes, they are made in China, but quality is, uh, I would say, superior. So those gloves, since it's a Chinese company, Chinese manufacturer, they are made in China. So as many other products that we buy, from our fancy jackets and everything else. Uh, and uh, the quality of them is superior. I, yeah, I will state it over again. And the goggle wiper blade is on both thumbs. So you can see them on both thumbs. Um, so now let's wrap up slowly uh, this uh, footage here and I will take them uh, for a ride and see how, how are they holding. I'll tell you more on the road. 
So now it will be the testing in real time. Not too bad at all. So, so far what I can see, I got a pretty good grip. And today is a plus 20 degrees Celsius. So it is a really warm day. I wonder how will they perform in that uh, higher temperature because leather normally even though it would say it's a winter glove uh, but it should work pretty decent when it's uh, warmer as well so before I heading home I'm just gonna take a left here and explore that country road not even sure where is that going haven't seen the sign, no trespassing, so we should be okay. It's another beautiful day. So working the working the clutch with it, no issue. It gives you nice flexibility, nice move, nice movement. So basically, one thing that uh, in bike should think about it's getting them uh, that they do have a touch sensitivity, uh, that they they would be able to work uh, phone screens and stuff. Because at this point, uh, I cannot work my phone with this. But uh, there's always a solution for that. If you um, if you search on Amazon. Um, there you can buy a conductive thread and uh, then you would have a touch control just put a couple threads on them um, on the uh, tip of your fingers and uh, they will work just fine just gonna turn around here it's time to wrap up this video thank you everyone for watching and if you are on the market for a new pair of gloves those gloves uh, I really can recommend they stand the quality to a lot of other expensive gloves that I've seen and that I actually own and uh, this uh, is not any different the quality is there the product is good and uh, it's comfortable so if you're riding in a cooler weather I would really recommend and also you can browse the other products that they have on their website because they have quite a bit of different uh, types of gloves as I stated uh, in a video before but uh, for now I will link the website to the manufacturer on uh, our YouTube channel of the manufacturer uh, on the end card you can uh, check out their videos and uh, their advertising thank you all for watching if you like the content don't forget to subscribe comment down below if you have any questions i'm also including the affiliated link down below and you get a 10 percent discount if you order through that link it doesn't cost you any extra uh, to order but uh, you will help me to so that the company can pitch in a small amount uh, for sales uh, out of the sales until next time cheers